In this paper, we introduce a general slicing framework for multi-axis 3D printing. Inviting more degrees of freedom in 3D printing systems can lead to many advantages. Curved layers can be generated to control local printing directions to optimize different objectives in fabrication. Here we show the growing of curved layers on the armadillo model. Compared with the planar layer-based 3D printing, multiple objectives can be achieved simultaneously by the curved layers generated by our method. Firstly, supporting structures can be avoided when the local printing directions in overhang regions are changed to become support-free. Meanwhile, the surface quality on 3D printed models can be improved by eliminating the staircase effect. The mechanical strength of a model can also be enhanced by making the curved layers be better aligned with the directions of principal stresses in critical regions. These three objectives can be optimized together in our framework. And the trade-off can be selected according to user's preference. We take the bunny model as an example. When only single objective is considered, our method can slice the model into curved layers that enable a process of support-free printing, preserve good surface quality, and enhance the mechanical strength. Objectives can be optimized together to generate curved layers. Now we show the cases when two objectives are demanded. Our slicer can also successfully handle the case where three objectives are required together. The generated layers are shown on the left. Models are represented by tetrahedral meshes in our computational pipeline. In the first step, each element is rotated to follow the desired local printing directions that satisfy design objectives. Here shows a discrete status of rotating neighboring elements. Then, the local rotations are transformed to a quaternion field where the compatibility is optimized. After running these two steps iteratively in the inner loop, a scale-controlled deformation process is applied to assemble rotated elements. A deformed model is obtained. The quaternion optimization and the deformation process are run iteratively until deformation converges. The deformed model is used to generate curved layer. The height field of a deformed model is mapped into a scalar field defined on the input model, and curved layers are extracted as isosurfaces of this scalar field. Hybrid strategy contains contraparallel toolpaths, and stress reinforced directional toolpaths are generated on each curved layer for the final printing. A robot-assisted 3D printing system is used to fabricate models. We apply a high-precision 3D scanner to evaluate the surface quality of printed models. By using optimized curved layers, heavy supporting structures are no longer needed. Also, curved layers can nicely follow the back of the armadillo model, therefore a surface with high quality can be achieved. The same improvement in surface quality can be seen on this teapot model, which can be printed in a support-free way. The staircase effect on the top can be effectively avoided. Here we show the printing result and layers growing for the bunny model. Surface quality has been largely improved in the regions of the head and the back. We also evaluate the performance of reinforcement by compression testing. The model printed from curved layers shows a stronger stiffness. The breaking force increases by 25%. Finally, we present the whole printing process of the bunny model. We believe the proposed S-Cubic Slicer can become a general tool for multi-axis 3D printing.
Thanks for watching.